Hello, David Foster here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Moto X, or is it the Lenovo X? Uh, I'm not really sure. All right, so I was the, an avid Apple iPhone user for about six, maybe seven years. I'm not really sure. I'm not great with time. Uh, but, you know, I fell in love with the iPhone. It just worked. It did everything I needed to do. I could actually run my business from my phone every day. The app market was great. But, you know, there were certain decisions that Apple was making, and I didn't really feel like they were being innovative anymore. And to me, innovation is making an impact. And, and when you come out with something new, it should fill a need or fix a problem. And I didn't feel like they were really fixing problems. They were just doing software updates for the most part. Um, now, there are some technologies with the, the print scanner or the finger scanner or whatever, you know, for security and stuff that's kind of cool. But it's not enough to, to grab somebody like my attention. When I saw the Moto X, uh, I saw a commercial on TV and it was just laying on a nightstand and a guy said, okay, Google now, and asked it to do something. And it did it, set his alarm, and I fell in love with it and just knew I had to have it. So first of all, you're gonna notice that it's very sleek uh, designed. And it's it's really cool too, the, the material is cool. It feels solid in your hand and it just fits your hand. And that's one thing, you know, the iPhone, when they had the three, uh, I can't remember how they went, 3G or whatever, the, the curved back of that phone actually I thought was better. And then when they came out with the four and the five and it's all it's square, I think they're going backwards because, you know, I like this because it fits in my hand. It's got this little dimple in the back, which I do lose the dimple on the case, but it's not that big a deal. But that dimple is put right in the right place to hold your finger when you're talking on the phone. I mean, that they really took a lot of, uh, paid a lot of attention to design when they were laying this out because it just fits your hand so nice. And I can reach all the way across the screen if I'm doing any texting or anything. And, and I found with the S3 or the Note 3 that I had to, I mean, I could not, <laughs> physically could not stretch my hand across the Note 3. I had to use my other hand every single time. Some of the features that this phone has that I absolutely love, first of all, it's got a 10 megapixel camera on the back, and then it's got a two megapixel camera, camera on the front. Uh, both record 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second. But anyway, from the camera, if I'm just holding the phone, all I gotta do is flip it like that, and my camera's on and ready to take a picture. So I'm gonna take a picture real quick. That's how quickly you can get to the camera. Now sure, you can access it uh, by clicking, you know, if you turn it on and flip up here, I can bring the camera over that way as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really easy to access the camera because we all know we're in situations sometimes where, oh my gosh, I gotta get that shot. You just flip the wrist and boom, got a picture. Another feature that I really like is the way that I can talk to this phone. Now, I don't even have to touch this phone. It can be laying anywhere in the house, um, and I can say, Okay, Google now, what's the temperature? It's 51 degrees in Tallahassee right now. 51 degrees in Tallahassee. So, okay, Google now, wake me up in one hour. Setting alarm for 3.46 p.m. There you go. I just set an alarm and it will wake me up at 3.46 p.m. So, you know, there it does a whole lot of things. I can be in the car and actually I'm going to break right now and I'm going to show you a lot of the things that it can do as far as hands off in the car while you're driving. So I'll be right back. So one of the features I really love about this phone is the fact that when I'm driving, it actually will notify me of text messages and stuff and ask me if I want to listen to him or respond. Text from Stephanie to hear it. Say listen. Listen. Stephanie said, can you bring home milk? To reply to Stephanie, say send text. Send text. What's your message? Sure, I will stop and get some milk. I think you said, sure, I will stop and get some milk. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, sending text now. 
So there I, I didn't even have to, you know, lift my hands or anything. It sent the text message. Um, I know now that I got to get milk. And now it'll do the same thing for a phone call. A list of many. Call from Stephanie Foster. Say answer or ignore. Answer. Okay, I'm answering. Hello. Hi. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Okay, good. Well, thank you for helping me test. No problem. So there you go. As I'm driving, it lets me know who's calling. Uh, and that, and I can say answer or ignore. If I say ignore, I do have the option to send them a text message and let them know that I'm driving, which is pretty cool. Um, and I can actually reply to text messages. And I found that the voice recognition uh, is pretty good. It actually understands most of what I say. I've never had a problem um, with any words. So that is a valuable feature to me because we all know that we should not, in any circumstances, be texting and driving. So this phone has uh, a way that I can come in here and I can go to, it's called assist. I can set up this assist so that if I'm driving in a meeting or sleeping, it will shut off all my notifications. For instance, if I click on sleeping, I've got it set so from 10 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock a.m., I silence my phone and it's, if anybody that's in my list of favorites calls, it will ring any uh, anyway, or if somebody calls twice in a row, because you know there's sometimes where there might be an emergency situation or something, and if somebody calls twice within five minutes, it's going to ring me anyway. I can also set up meetings so that I can silence my phone, of course, and this goes with my Google Calendar. So if I have an event, like for instance right now, on my calendar I have that I'm making a video so it shows that I'm in a meeting so any text message that comes in unless it's from my list of favorites it's going to get an auto reply and I can set what uh, see what that says whoops it says in a meeting I'll get back to you soon sent from my Moto X and then I can I can edit that and say whatever I want to say I, I just leave it say whatever the default I don't care and then also driving, it knows if I'm on the road driving. So if I get a text message, it's going to ask me, just like you saw in the video just then, what it asks me. And I can also make it so that it plays music over the Bluetooth and starts that back up after the call. That's another thing that I really like about this phone. Another feature that I really like is the fact that without, like, I don't have to waste my battery. If I'm uh, just sitting around and this is sitting on the table, and a text message comes in or something like that, some sort of no notification, an email, I can flip the phone over, I can push right here, and it's gonna show me my messages um, in the window that I can kind of get a bird's eye view, see if it's something that I wanna deal with, and if not, I just let off, and like right there, I've got the timer. You can see that, so I hold it down, it says upcoming alarm, 346, and that's the alarm that I just sent. So if I want to deal with that, I can swipe up to that. I can swipe left to dismiss it. I can swipe down to unlock the phone. So let's go up and edit that alarm. So it brings me right into the alarm. I'm going to shut it off and then I'm going to go back home and then I'm going to close it. But whatever notifications you set up, you will see on that screen and you can decide. Like I just got a Skype message probably from um, the Geek Beat Room. If I hold it down, I can see, yep. John P. and Callie Lewis and respond or not. So that is pretty cool because then I can, you know, swipe left if I'm busy and just go on about my day and not be bothered. And the last thing that I want to say, this thing, this bad boy is all Android. It's the 4.4 KitKat and you don't get all the extra junk. I noticed with Samsung phones, uh, you get a lot of extra stuff that you really don't need. I like this because it's just the, the KitKat platform. It's just Google and, and that's it. This phone is amazing. I highly recommend it, uh, especially to you Apple people who are wanting to maybe you know move over into the Android market. I, I love Android because of the way you can customize your phone uh, to do the things you want to do a lot more than you could on the iPhone. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again real soon.